Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Wednesday, November 6 spoilers for Days of Our Lives, EJ DiMera called Chad DiMera to offer him sympathy since he was grieving Abigail DiMera again. EJ heard the noise and hurried to the DiMera foyer to look into it after Ivan Murray stumbled in and knocked something over. Because Gabby Hernandez's entrance diverted EJ's attention, Ivan was able to sneak upstairs unnoticed. Gabby gave EJ a bad attitude and acknowledged that she hadn't signed the divorce papers. EJ asked Gabby to find his brother upstairs since she wanted to speak with Stefan DiMera. In the meantime, Ivan packed Stefan's things into a suitcase to make it appear as though he had left town on his own initiative. Additionally, Ivan left EJ a fake farewell note that Vivian Alamein had written from Stefan. Ivan went into the bathroom to hide when Gabby showed up. When Gabby saw the note, she brought it to EJ, who read that Stefan was leaving Salem because he simply couldn't move on from their betrayal. Stefan maintained that he believed EJ and Gabby were both dead and that they were deserving of one another. After sobbing as she fled the room, Gabby accused EJ of using her marital problems. Since Gabby was the one who visited his bed, EJ reattributed the responsibility to her. Thinking that was what Stefan wanted, Gabby angrily signed the divorce papers after ordering EJ out of the room. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring, was on the phone with Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, when he heard a gunshot and hurried over to the Salem Inn. When Rafe got there, Jada was all right, but she clarified that Vivian had snatched the revolver from her holster. Vivian fell and struck her head on the desk, but Jada managed to wrestle the weapon away. Vivian ended up tied to the bead while wearing a bandage over her head wound after an ambulance was called to take her to the hospital. They chatted in the waiting room after Jada and Rafe made it apparent that Vivian would be gone for a while. After Jada's fear and Rafe's coma, he realized that time doesn't wait and got down on one knee to make a proposal. Rafe whirled Jada around as he celebrated the good news after she accepted Tia Hilda's ring and decided to marry him. Aaron Green, Louis Tomio, then paid Mark Green, Jonah Robinson, in jail on Wednesday's day's episode, and he pleaded with his brother to explain that this was all a great misunderstanding. Aaron's attempt to remove Chad from the map was illogical. Mark apologized profusely and stated that he had no other option because their mother was being threatened by Clyde Weston, played by James Reed. Mark acknowledged that their mother had survived the automobile accident and was being held captive because Aaron was perplexed. Eventually, Cat Green, Annalyn McCord, who was in the adjacent detention cell, spoke out to assist Mark in explaining. Aaron claimed that this was a family affair, and Kat acknowledged that she was Aaron's older sister. Kat claimed to be back following major plastic surgery, but Aaron countered that she was still in a rehab center healing from the accident. Aaron discovered it was actually her after Kat shared some information from when he was younger. Aaron appeared thrilled to see his sister once more and was eager to meet his mother as well. Unfortunately, because they didn't comply with Clyde's demands, Mark and Kat acknowledged that their mother might not even be alive anymore. Despite Kat's cries for him to return, Lewis battled his emotions and eventually ran away. On Wednesday's DOL program, Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, stopped by the Horton residence and spoke with Chad regarding Abigail's missing body. Steve added that before Clyde called Chad's phone, he had already made his getaway. Clyde was somewhere unknown, but he was prepared to do Chad a favor by bringing him back to what was remained of Abigail. While Clyde promised to keep Steve updated on the specifics, Chad kept Steve in the dark. Later, on Wednesday's episode of Days, Chad shocked EJ by confessing that he wanted all of Kat's accusations to be dropped. Chad urged that Kat should be allowed to go, even if EJ were to throw the book at Mark. We'll give you additional predictions about what will happen after Kat is free because it sounds like Clyde is asking for her freedom. According to previews for Days of Our Lives, Clyde will have a few tricks up his sleeve. Follow along for updates on all of his schemes. Here are the spoilers for Thursday, November 7, 2024's episode of Days of Our Lives. Fans can anticipate that Javi Hernandez will receive a warning in tomorrow's show. The Days of Our Lives are approaching. Jada Hunter and Rafe Hernandez announce something. Stephanie Johnson and Alex Kiriakis must confront reality. Johnny DiMera also makes an effort to conceal his guilt from Chanel Dupree DiMera. 
Find out what will happen in the upcoming Peacock Soap Opera episode by reading on. Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Javi Hernandez According to Thursday, November 7th Spoilers for Warren D.O.L., Javi stunned his cousins by arriving in Salem with everything he owned. Rafe and Gabby Hernandez will be hosting Javi, who has relocated to Salem. Javi has also received an offer from Gabby to work as her assistant. But Javi will also receive a severe warning. Javi is cautioned by Gabby to avoid Leo Stark. The 2024 teaser Four Days of Days lets us know that Javi doesn't pay attention and finds up lip-locking with Leo. Also read, DOL Spoilers, Sarah's New Secret, Philip and Kristen's Sinful Miracle? DOL Spoilers, The Announcement of Rafe Hernandez Fans can anticipate an announcement from Rafe and Jada on Thursday, November 7th. Rafe made the decision to ask Jada to marry him by using the family heirloom. Rafe was startled to hear gunshots over the phone after he had contacted Jada. When Rafe discovered Jada, she was unconscious. All main, Vivian. Rafe pops the question to Jada after Vivian is captured and sent to the hospital. Naturally, Jada accepts, and the couple is thrilled to tell each other. Spoilers Four Days of Our Lives, Johnny D. Mara's Guilt. According to Thursday, November 7th spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Johnny will continue to feel bad. But Johnny will make an effort to conceal his guilt from Chanel. However, it is hinted that Chanel could believe Johnny is concealing something. Will Chanel discover that Joy Wesley, Alex Ann Hopkins, is the key? Read Days of Our Lives as well. Spoilers, Joy's strange illness signs quick PG test, impresses everyone with Johnny? Thursday, November 7, 2024, DOL Spoilers Fans may also anticipate that Alex and Stephanie will confront the truth about their relationship on Thursday, November 7. Although it appears that Alex and Stephanie are unable to restrain themselves around one another, is their passion being fueled by denial? Maybe Stephanie and Alex decide they can't collaborate after all, and one of them must leave. Alex might offer to leave if it comes to that, but Stephanie might be simpler to replace, so keep an eye out. On Thursday, November 7, 2024, which storyline are you most excited to watch? What do you think will happen to Chanel, Johnny, Stephanie, and Alex? For Joy, Rafe, Jada, Vivian, Javi, and the other inhabitants of Salem, what lies ahead? At the same time, Johnny DiMera attempts to conceal his guilt from Chanel Dupree DiMera. Read on to see what will happen in the upcoming Peacock Soap Opera episode. Javi Hernandez's Days of Our Lives Spoilers According to Warren DOL Spoilers for Thursday, November 7, Javi showed up in Salem with all he owned, surprising his cousins. Javi will be staying with Rafe and Gabby Hernandez after relocating to Salem.